So we arrive at lesson four. And lesson four is, in my opinion, one of the hardest lessons at this level of grammar. Because in lesson four, we're going to look at modal verbs. First of all, what are modal verbs? Can you name them? The modal verbs are can, could, may, might, must, shall, should, will, would, and that very awkward one, Old English, ought, or ought to. Modal verbs are sometimes referred to as modal auxiliary verbs because they help other verbs. Auxiliary meaning help. So for example, he can ski. Ski is the main verb, can is helping the main verb. Do you think she will come? Come is the main verb and will. Will come is the modal verb. The form of the modal verbs, there is no S in the third person singular. So we can see, I can drive, you can drive, he, she, or it can drive, we can drive, you, plural, can drive, and they can drive. The negative form, there is no does or doesn't in the negative. For example, he won't listen to her. They can't be serious. The question form, there is no do or does in the question. Let's have a look at an example. What would you do? Now remember, modal verbs do not normally have past forms. Could is used sometimes when talking about the past. For example, he could play football in his youth. That's general ability. Modal verbs do not have infinitives or ing forms. They are followed by an infinitive without to. For example, I will ring you. Modal verbs can be used with perfect infinitives to talk about the past. An example of this, we should have gone the other way. 